A U.S. Navy warship operating in the Gulf of Aden successfully fired on a floating target with a high-energy laser weapon system. The ship in question is the U.S. Navy ship USS Portland, which is currently deployed to the Middle East as part of the Essex Amphibious Ready Group. The U.S. Navy announced on December 15th the San Antonio-class amphibious transport dock ship tested a laser weapon by shooting at a floating target. The service claims that the laser weapon system, seen as the most powerful one to be deployed on an operational vessel, can be used against potential targets like bomb-laden drone boats operated by Yemen's Houthi rebels in the Red Sea. The weapon, LWSD, or Laser Weapon System Demonstrator, Mark II Mod Zero, is developed by Northrop Grumman. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes why a high-energy laser weapon test from USS Portland is a crucial step. Let's get started. This video is sponsored by War Thunder, the most comprehensive military vehicle online game for PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One, in which you can go to battle on more than 1,200 playable aircraft, tanks, helicopters, and ships from the 1930s to the 1990s. The game has an amazing attention to detail and focuses on a realistic combat experience, which is why knowing your vehicles and skill really makes a difference. It's easy to get into and all you need to play is nothing more but your mouse and keyboard or controller. Immerse yourself in cross-platform combat with more than 20 million other military vehicle enthusiasts from all over the world. Download and play War Thunder for free using the link in the description below and also get a free bonus tank, aircraft or ship and three days of premium account. According to the U.S. Navy's Middle East-based Fifth Fleet, Portland's laser weapon engaged the training target during the course of the demonstration. It did not specify the extent of damage incurred by the target or if it was destroyed as a result of the firing. According to a U.S. Navy release on the demonstration in the Gulf of Aden, the LWSD is considered a next-generation follow-on to the laser weapon system laws that a float forward staging base USS Ponce AFSB 115 tested for three years while operating in the Middle East. The release said the region's geography, climate, and strategic importance offer a unique environment for technology innovation. Captain Kerry Sanders, then the commanding officer of USS Portland, said by conducting advanced at-sea tests against UAVs and small crafts, we will gain valuable information on the capabilities of the solid-state laser weapon system demonstrated against potential threats. The new LWSD, Sanders added, is a unique capability the Portland gets to test and operate for the Navy while paving the way for future weapon systems. He stated further that, with this new advanced capability, we are redefining war at sea for the Navy. The weapon is developed for the U.S. Navy as part of the Solid State Laser Technology Maturation SSLTM program and is a 150 kilowatt class laser weapon. The weapon is designed as a close-in defense system for helping in countering the threats posed by unmanned aircraft and small boat swarms. LWSD Mark II Mod Zero was received by the USS Portland in late 2019. It was first tested by the vessel in May 2020 to shoot down a small drone in the Pacific Ocean. It can also be used as a surveillance system owing to its full-motion video cameras, which are otherwise used by the weapon platform for detecting and tracking targets for the laser. Lasers are silent and invisible, 
and the speed of light enables them to hit their targets almost instantaneously. Laser weapons also don't need to carry ammunition like traditional systems, and hence they'll be able to take out a much larger number of threats constrained only by the power supply limit of the platform. This is pretty significant as traditional weapons can run out of ammunition when encountering a large number of incoming threats and need to be reloaded amidst a raging battle. The cost is also expected to be much lesser compared to traditional weapons. While laser weapons are not kinetic in nature, even a weak laser is capable of disrupting the optical guidance systems of incoming missiles and drones. Powerful laser weapons can further destroy a missile's flight control fins and can also thermally set off their warheads. Laser technology is still relatively new, and scientists and engineers are working round the clock to master it. There are many challenges when it comes to using the laser for combat usages. For lasers to work efficiently over long distances, they require large power sources. They may also suffer a reduction of power in a hazy atmosphere and may cause thermal issues which require cooling. Some of the issues have been sorted to an extent, but more need to be taken care of. The American military's tryst with laser weapons is not new. In 2010, the U.S. Air Force mounted and fired off a megawatt-class chemical laser from a modified Boeing 747. On April 23, 2019, the U.S. Air Force Research Laboratory AFRL, Self-Protect High Energy Laser Demonstrator Shield Advanced Technology Demonstration ATD, program successfully achieved a major goal. A laser developed as part of the program had shot down several air-launched missiles in flight. It's clear that lasers will have a significant part to play in future combat and they're becoming reality much faster than what we could imagine a decade earlier. As evident, the U.S. is putting a lot of effort into laser weapons and slowly but surely the technology is being optimized for warfighters. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.